Well, it's been a hot, hot summer, right? But our first guest is here to help us cool down just a little bit. Welcome, Alex, to the Cocoa Kitchen. How are you? Doing very well. Thanks for having me. Okay, it's been hot, right? It's, it's not warm. just me. It's been, it's warm. been really it's warm. Well, before we get into what you brought today, tell us more about improv. So we are so excited to be introducing improv to the Colorado market. We make non-alcoholic canned cocktails, but we do it a little bit differently. We're not your traditional mocktail. We design them to look, smell, and taste just like their alcoholic counterparts. So we, we support the sobriety movement, but we also want to uh -huh. cater to people that like the flavor of alcohol and maybe are just taking a day off. And this is going to taste similar to a cocktail, that a delicious is, cocktail. About as close as you can get without the alcohol. One of the things that I loved, Alex, as you were setting up is um, almost any calories in these. Yeah, we're 40 calories per can, five grams of organic sweeteners. We use agave syrup and our tequila inspired, mm -hmm. organic cane sugar, and then monk fruit throughout all of them. So we keep that calorie count and that sugar count low because if you're consuming those calories, you might as well be consuming the alcohol. That's right. And, and this is like the perfect fix for so many of us. Why did you feel it was really important to make canned non-alcoholic cocktails? You know, it came from kind of the personal journey that our team has been on. We come from alcohol beverage, but we're all getting mm -hmm. a little bit older. I've got two little kids under two. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So the old habits, the way that we used to consume alcohol and, and party with our friends just changed oh a little God. bit. Oh, yeah, you can't And do so that it's anymore. mixing in things like this that can keep us going for the long haul, not abandoning alcohol. That's not our, our motive. It's more about, hey, I'm going to be at the pool all day Saturday, six yeah. hours. I got to watch a, a two-year-old. <laughs> yes. Let's mix some of these in. Yes, can we pretend that we're drinking a cocktail, right? right? And, and it's going to be just as delicious because they look great. Okay, walk us through what you brought today and, and the flavors. Yeah, so I'll walk you through them. So we've got our okay. grapefruit Paloma. Mm. So this is a tequila-inspired cocktail, really grapefruit forward, but you still get some of those flavors of tequila, which um, are really, really nice from that agave plant. So one of the big important things for us too was to look like the cocktail. So you'll notice that sure. the color, um, and we love to, to serve it and present it like this so you feel like you're having a cocktail. You with feel like you're actually having a cocktail. The tahini rim and the grapefruit garnish. And the uh, second flavor here is our lime margarita. This is actually our, our number one selling. Is it? Brand. Okay. We want to be approachable. You know, a margarita is a, a, a cocktail that everybody kind of knows. You can't go wrong with it. So yeah. it was a, a great kind of introduction to the market. And then this one is really unique. Oh, you know, a, a Mai Tai, they'll make it. 20 different ways in 20 different bars. So this was, this was a fun kind of experimentation mm, mm, mm. to create a Mai Tai that had those fruit flavors of pineapple and coconut, was really balanced with that kind of sweet almond and the rum character. Right, all three look tasty. Which is your personal favorite? All right, so I'll tell you, my favorite right now is the margarita, but that's kind of like asking who your favorite kid is. So I go back and forth. <laughs> like can't. I love the yeah. Paloma. The Mai Tai is great for some occasions, but right now I'm a, I'm a margarita guy. It depends on the day, right? Depends on the day. Same with the kiddos. I've, I've got two girls, so I'm Me right too. there with you. Yeah, really? I do. Oh my gosh. Where can people get these if they want to try them for themselves? Yeah, so uh, we're so proud to be partnering with Sprouts in the Colorado okay. market. So we're across Colorado and Sprouts Farmers Market. You can also find us on Amazon. It's Prime Day, so you get a little discount today. And then our website, uh, improvcocktails.com. And we appreciate a follow on social media. That's where we have our fun. We're uh, at Improv Cocktails on Instagram. You got it. Instagram, um, a lot of us, when we're at home watching TV, we usually have our phones in our hand, right? Uh, go to Instagram right now. Make sure you follow. And again, it's at Improv Cocktails. You got it. On Instagram, do you guys keep up and do updates and all sorts of stuff We do. On fun videos, you know, jokes. We like to have fun. We like to be approachable. We like to make <laughs> cocktails a little bit less highfalutin than they used to be. I love it. Now, okay, so these three flavors, are these are the ones that you're going to find at Sprouts. Absolutely. Any new flavors in the mix? or We're working on some things. So we do really well with our tequila inspired and our rum flyer inspired skews. So variations on the margarita, strawberry margarita, mango margarita. I've yeah. tried some samples from our R&D team. And I'm excited about the potential. I can't promise anything, but a mojito might be on the, the works. Oh, again, you just can't go wrong with the mojito. Okay, well, I absolutely love these, and they're perfect for right now, summer, as you are lounging or trying to stay cool in the heat. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. All right, everyone, you can find Improv at Sprouts, Amazon, and you can also go online at improvcocktails.com. And I'll tell you what. Follow them on Instagram because they're always updating stuff and you can see videos and ideas on how to drink some of these awesome cocktails.